Hey everyone, what's going on? Andy Singer again with the Heartland Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So today we get to talk about one of my favorite topics, livestock greenhouse gas emissions, or cow farts. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go with livestock greenhouse gas emissions. It's a little more less crude sounding. Good sentence. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard numerous times that that juicy burger you had the other night uh, is a major source of climate change. Or by major source, I mean it's a major source of greenhouse gas emissions, which is leading towards climate change. So the burger equals impending doom. Short summary. Uh, I've heard that. I mean, I ate a burger uh, earlier today, about an hour ago. And I'm going to be honest, it was a McDonald's burger. And I am tired from that. But we do what we can. It was delicious. I stand by my decision. But yeah, so let's let's talk about um, how much livestock actually leads towards greenhouse gas emissions. And if the claims that it's a major source of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions is true. So we're going to look at some data that comes from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, of course, and we're going to see what they found. So they looked at numerous sects of the economy, including transportation, industry, commercial development, things like that, and uh, measured how much greenhouse gas emissions come from those areas. Show the chart, Mr. Producer. OK, so just so everyone is aware, this is a 2016 U.S. total greenhouse gas emissions chart. There's numerous sects of the economy as shown, and we're going to go through them from left to right. So we start with transportation. 28.5% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States came from transportation sources. Next comes electricity generation, which generated 28.4% of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. Third is industry, which led to 21.6% of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2016. That's followed by commercial sources with 6.4% and then residential with 5.1%. Okay, so now you're seeing that in 2016, 4.7% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States came from crop production. And finally, we hit livestock with 3.9% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2016. And to be clear, 2% in total came from beef. So the other 1.9 came from pigs, chickens, rabbits, I don't know, whatever, whatever other livestock we're dealing with. All right. Well, I'm sure you've heard so many times that the meat that you eat, the burgers, the steaks, the chicken, all of it is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. Clearly, it's not. This comes straight from the EPA. So, and I'm actually asking this, and I would love to hear your all's opinions in the comments. Why do climate alarmists frequently try to say that we need to stop eating meat and push plant-based diets? I mean, what we just looked at shows that there's more greenhouse gas emissions from crop production than livestock production. I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, and I, I would like to know what you all think. But yeah, sound off in the comments. Please answer that question. I would love to hear your opinions. I'm trying to come up with my own. And yeah, until tomorrow, Andy Singer, Heartland Institute. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.